You know, building high-performance handheld wireless technology is an incredible challenge. Um, it's completely contained within the laws of physics, and so you're always trying to increase performance or increase battery life or increase feature sets or, you know, increase memory or packaging or the ergonomics, and yet you're fighting these real constraints of how big it can be, how much it can weigh, how big the battery is, how much power you can transmit with, just how much computing horsepower you can put into the product. Everything you do is a compromise between what you want to accomplish, how fast you want to accomplish it, and how long you want this product to, to, to operate without it becoming too large to be practical. Well, the primary thing we've done with the platform is making it Java-based. That gives us uh, a common API set, a common platform that will work on any of our devices independent of radio technology or uh, generation of product or processor underneath. And then having a consistent set of APIs, uh, both the standards-based APIs uh, to the extent that they're available, but also because our platform is so expansive, uh, we have a lot of our own proprietary APIs that we open up to the developers as well that, that enable them to access uh, services and uh, leveraging the communication infrastructure that we've put into place to make BlackBerry run well so that third-party application developers can have the benefits of the same security, compression, and so on in the communication without having to reinvent it themselves. BlackBerry is really one of the most successful applications of Java ever because it's kind of the vision of Java realized and in one of those targets that we always deemed were very important. You know, Java was supposed to bring a bunch of elements to the table. So it was, uh, you know, programmer productivity with higher level libraries and better abstractions and, you know, the inability to not think about memory bugs as you were programming. So that was one aspect that was important. There was the security aspect that was important, where Java was you know, sort of this buffer layer between what the programmer did and what the device was doing. There was the element about um, you know, abstracting differences between devices. And all of those were very important um, uh, points for the Java vision. Well, I think one of the challenges facing the industry is how to make great mobile applications. And we at BlackBerry have been doing this for, you know, 10 years now, uh, starting with our email application, but going beyond that into, uh, you know, full PIM and instant messaging and uh, the, whole, the whole raft of uh, BlackBerry applications have given us deep expertise in how to build a great, great application for mobile devices and, uh, and what are the APIs end-to-end -end in the network, in the device that are needed to enable that. And uh, it's just a very mature solution. Uh, reflecting our years of experience. One of the applications that came out of our group that I'm most proud of is the Facebook application for BlackBerry smartphones. Uh, it was released uh, about this time last year. So far we've had uh, well over a million downloads. I think we may even have hit the two million mark right now. So one of the big challenges in social networking, for example, is that it draws together so many different aspects of what people do with their, with their smartphone. So it pulls in uh, their contact information, their communication aspects, uh, and really has to make all of these things work together in a consistent user experience. And then we've also got the additional challenge of having to have a look and feel an experience that's somewhat similar to the website experience that users are so accustomed to on their desktop machines. So it's a real challenge to bring all of these aspects together, come up with something consistent and uh, harmonized between all of the different components.